Fellow problem solvers, welcome back here. This is John East and we're talking about functions and relationships. Yesterday we talked about flow diagrams. Today it's tables. How do we use tables to determine output values? So it's the same thing we are looking at and looking for, but we're just putting on a different lens. Share, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Welcome back fellow problem solvers. And yes, this is a continuation of our series based on functions and relationships. But today our focus will be on using tables to determine the output values. So just a quick recap. Remember from our previous video, we have our flow diagrams and we have our input values. And this is the value you choose to put in the place of a variable inside the rule. Uh, as example, let's say 3x minus five as an example and once this calculation is complete you will have an output value now we are going to look at tables today so how to use a table to determine the exact same thing so right over here we'll have our input value in the first row and in the second row we'll have our output value but over here i'm going to put an x and then the rule 3x minus 5. Okay, so we choose, we determine the input value. So over here we're going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and leave some space open just to indicate that the, the rest of the numbers do not follow um, in the pattern on the previous one. So I'm just going to choose 10 and 11. Okay, now just like with the flow diagram, our 1 will be put instead of x, right over there. And then we'll get the output value. The same here, 2 will be put instead of x, then 3, then 4, then 5, and 6, and then 10 eventually, and then 11, and we'll get our corresponding output value. So let's see. If x is 1, this will become a 3, 3 times 1, minus 5, our output value is negative 2. If x is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 minus 5 is 1. If x is 3, then 3 times 3 will give us 9, and then 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. And you will see this links beautifully with numeric patterns. We've got a constant difference here of 3 units, so from negative 2 to 1 is 3 units. You see the 3 in front of the x, and again 1 to 4 is 3. And you'll see this continues. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 5 is equal to 10. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 minus 5 is equal to 13. And so on and so forth. Let's work with 10 now over here. 3 times 10 is 30. 30 minus 5 is equal to 25. And then 11, lastly, 11 times 3 is 33, minus 5 is equal to 28. So this is how it works, and this is how tables correspond to flow diagrams. So hopefully this helps you. And yeah, thank you for staying tuned. 